briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the Wisconsin Court of Appeals heard the case of Howard v. Union State Bank of Watoma, which centered around the incapacity doctrine and whether a mentally incompetent individual could be held liable for contractual obligations. The situation began when Union State Bank of Watoma granted a loan to Kathy Hauer, who had suffered a brain injury in a previous motorcycle accident and was deemed legally incompetent. The bank knew that the loan was risky due to Hauer's mental condition and that the money would be invested in a business whose owner had defaulted on loans. Despite this information, the bank went ahead with the loan. When the business owner went bankrupt, Hauer took legal action against the bank, seeking the return of her collateral. The bank counterclaimed for the remaining loan balance. The trial court ruled in favor of Hauer, stating that she lacked the mental capacity to enter into the loan agreement and that the bank had acted in bad faith. The bank appealed this decision, but the appellate court upheld the ruling, citing evidence supporting Hauer's mental incompetence at the time of the loan and the bank's failure to act in good faith. In conclusion, it was confirmed that Hauer had been incompetent during the loan agreement and the bank's bad faith actions made her not liable for restitution on the lost loan balance. The case demonstrated an application of the effective test, and it serves as an example for future legal matters involving contract law and the mental capacity of the parties involved. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.